On the front page of the Business Courier this week, following a sheriff's auction of the unfinished Kenwood Town Place last month, contractors who have worked on that project dating all the way back to 2008 are still hoping to get paid. Cincinnati-based Phillips Edison, which struck a deal for the building, is planning to restart construction on Kenwood Town Place by the end of the year. The project was envisioned as a $175 million retail and office complex next to the Kenwood Town Center shopping mall. But when the original work on the project ended in early 2009, more than two dozen contractors who had not been paid for the work that they had completed were left hanging. There were claims now pending in Hamilton County Common Pleas Court. Judge Beth Myers has awarded contractors judgments on about $40 million since May 2010. The focus now on, is on where this money to pay the judgments might come from. Business Courier reporter John Newbury wrote the story for the print edition of The Courier. He joins us now on U.S. Bank Business Watch with more. John, good to have you with us. How are Thanks. you? Thanks. Good to be here. We've all been driving by that building on I-71, a skeleton, a steel skeleton. I wonder how much money is just sitting there. So you've talked to some of the contractors that never got paid. What did they tell you? Well, uh, it's funny because the sale of the building now, you would think that would have a big impact on their claims, but actually that's one of the things that they're still fighting is whether that money from the sale of the building should come to them. And there's a, a argument in the Court of Appeals next month, and that still, uh, still couldn't change. Some of these contractors had a lot invested. They put many, many hours, a lot of material into this project, which is just sitting, just waiting for something to happen. How does that affect their, their overall business, did they say? Oh, a lot of them were really hurt by that. I talked to a guy, uh, Marty Clark at Hycon Incorporated. It's a uh, St. Bernard company, does a lot of pa paving and masonry work. He said it really hurt them, and they, it took them a while to build the business back up, to regain that money, and he says it's, you know, it's, it's still money that's always going to be out of their pocket. They're never going to get it back unless you know, some of these things they're pursuing in court come through for them. It looks like it's going to be a pretty impressive building when it's done. A steel structure with a lot of glass. There's a whole lot of glass just sitting around there, isn't there? Yeah, actually, you know, there's uh, about $3 million worth of glass sitting in a warehouse somewhere here in town that was supposed to go on that uh, building. The judge, uh, Judge Myers, gave the contractor permission to remove the glass after the work stopped and the whole thing kind of fell apart. And they're actually hoping that they can hook up with the new owner, of Phillips Edison, to uh, put that glass on the building. And that's one way they, you know, might be able to recoup some of their losses. I notice also the crane finally came down. It was up there for a couple of years. So to get this thing restarted is going to cost a lot more than it probably would have just to continue the construction when they originally started it. Oh, yeah. I was talking with Phillips Edison. They are going to strip the building down, not the, uh, the lower portion, the retail portion, which is pretty much completed, but the office tower part. They're basically going to strip that down to the steel skeleton and then uh, build it back up again. But, but there are a lot of uh, legal maneuverings still going on that these contractors, about four or five different avenues they're pursuing, that they're trying to get some money uh, from, well, one of the big people they're going after is Bank of America. Well, at least something's going to get started with this again. And uh, they say they'll start by the end of the year, uh, beginning construction. Is there any completion date here forecast? I, you know, I haven't heard one, but I'm, I'm yeah. guessing it, it probably shouldn't take all that long uh, to, you know, get it up and get the interior finished out. I know they're, you know, starting to try to lease the space or find prospects for that. So I think it'll move pretty quick once they get started. Yeah, the infrastructure's all there. Yeah. All right, John, we appreciate you, and we'll read the full story in the business career.